Hey guys, welcome to this channel. In this video, I'm going to walk you through what is product roadmap. So on a very, very high level, a product roadmap is a document that outlines the vision of the product and the key features and initiatives to achieve in order to achieve that vision. It is effectively a tool or a document that a product manager uses in order to communicate to not only the leadership of the company, but across all the stakeholders in the team to ensure that they continue to develop and stay aligned with the vision and the goals of the product. So I'm going to talk about two things. Number one is going to be the key elements of the product roadmap. The second one is going to be the essentials or the guide in order to create your own product roadmap. Map. But before I move forward in this video, if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing to the channel and dropping a like on this video. On this channel, we talk about everything product management and startups. I'm also very active across both YouTube and Instagram. So if you have any questions, feel free to drop those in the comments or reach out to me on Instagram and I'll get back to you. That in mind, let's get started. Let's first look at the key elements of a product roadmap. Very first element of a product roadmap is the product vision and the objectives. Product roadmap should be anchored in the overall vision of the product and the specific specific goals that we need to achieve throughout the roadmap. This could include things like improving customer satisfaction, increasing revenue or solving a specific problem for the users. So assume that these are the three major goals in your vision. Effectively, everything you add in the roadmap, either at a feature level or as an initiative, you need to ensure that all the features and initiatives meet these criteria. So first comes the vision followed by the objectives and then the roadmap follows. Number two is key stakeholders the product roadmap should consider who will be impacted by the product and how. This could include your customers, internal teams and partners. It is important to ensure that the key stakeholders are a part of your consideration because end of the day, when you are building new features or initiatives, if these features and initiatives don't have impact on the stakeholders, there's no point building these items or adding these items in your roadmap. Number three is features and milestones. The roadmap should outline the key features and milestones that your team or your roadmap needs to achieve in order to realize the overarching product vision. You can also use prioritization framework in order to prioritize items initiatives in the product roadmap. And these frameworks could be Moscow framework, Rice framework, etc. Number four would be dependencies and risks. The roadmap should also take into account the anticipated dependencies and risks that you anticipate the product will face throughout the development of the product. This could include external factors like market trends or technological changes, as well as internal factors like resource constraints, hiring constraints, scaling problems, etc. Number five is the timeline. And I think this is probably one of the most important items in the roadmap. The roadmap should have a clear timeline that outlines when the specific features or milestones are expected to be achieved. This can help product teams stay on track and ensure that the product is delivered or the project or an initiative is delivered on time. Number six is the visual representation. This is primarily from the perspective of aesthetics, but it can help make visualizing the roadmap a little bit easier for the leadership who may not be very involved in the day-to-day -day product development. You can use tools like Asana, Trello, U-Track, Jira in order to create like a visual roadmap to communicate the progress to the internal leadership or your customers. Now let's look at the step-by-step -step guide that can help you create your own product roadmap. Number one step would be to create your overarching product vision and objective. So if your vision is to provide affordable housing for everyone, and your objective is to improve user experience, then all your features and initiatives should be focused on improving the UX that lead to the overarching vision of ensuring that everyone has affordable housing. Some examples of how you could improve the user experience in your product would be to give out more discounts, to find homes with say relatively cheaper rates, or find more ways to enable people with lower capital still get access to so once you identify these overarching objectives, your goal next is to build specific features and initiatives that will drive your objectives. So for customer experience, you could ease down the user journey. So you look at the overall funnel of your user journey and identify the bottlenecks and you know, reduce those, either remove certain elements from your signup page or login page in order to for the customers to log in faster. Or if your checkout journey is too hard, you 
reduce further steps or you build certain new features new payment methods in order for customers to you know pay for your platform so effectively what you first did is you first identified the vision you found certain objectives that will help you achieve the vision itself then you identified certain levers in the objective that will further drive your objective and your vision then you went down to the features and initiatives that will overall drive your levers which will in turn drive your objectives which will in turn drive your vision so what you also need to identify after this that okay now that i have say a list of 100 things that i want to build throughout 2023 what are the risks and dependencies that you anticipate so for example if you add or remove a certain payment method your customer may not be able to pay using that method anymore so that's a dependency so you need to look at data before you make any changes to the product itself so if there are customers paying using that payment method you probably should not take that payment method out in the first place so these are the dependencies and risks that you need to look at before you create the product vision once you finalize the product roadmap you can create like a visual representation of the roadmap so that not only the team but also the leadership is aware of progress that's happening on the roadmap finally regularly review and update the roadmap depending on the dynamic nature of the market so there are new regulations that come in the market there are certain things you cannot build you need to be on top of it you need to pivot and change your roadmap accordingly in order to match the new regulatory guidelines or any changes that you might not have anticipated so this is what i you know kind of wanted to talk about when it comes to product roadmap i hope this video was able to add value to you if yes consider subscribing to the channel dropping a like on this video and i'll see you in the next one thanks so much